And welcome back, folks, to more Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes. Last time we played, we found out about the emergency override key, and now we have to use it. How do we use it? Well, first of all, we got to go find it because it fell down into a ditch. So, there is that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Now, hopefully, we can uh, get through this without too much trouble. Hey there, Freeport. How are you guys doing? <clears throat> How was my week? Uh, it was incredibly hot. And not, like, hot, cool. I, I mean, like, hot, extremely warm. There was a heat wave. And, um, oh my god. Never again, please. I was cooking. Are you stealthing now? I would not call this stealth. Looks like there's stuff in the water. Never mind. Summer be when? Well, we just uh, turned to summer officially today, right? So I'll, I'll put it later after the stream. Did I jump in the water? Oh my God. This is killing me. It fell in there. I'm pretty sure it did. Okay. Could you not shoot me, please? All right, we got the pal key. Now we gotta go all the way back up because we gotta put it in the computer. Mm, might as well call me Ling. Me Ling, I got I got the key. What's up, Snake? Why not play Solstice for the NES? I thought about it. Wouldn't it be fun? And then I thought, why don't I just play the Elden Ring DLC that just came out, just like every other streamer right now? But no, here we are. Come what come playing time Metal time Gear Solid instead. We're almost out of time, Snake. Please hurry. You're the only one who can stop them from launching that nuke. This is a better game. Mm, better than Elden Ring? Mm. Need you to Z more. Oh, you, you will back up. Oh, this is bad. Huh? Gotta go in the computer. Well, I got a full ration here, so. 
I'm gonna assume we just throw a, ch a chafe grenade. Not what I need to do. Yeah, I think you can move bodies. Yeah, we've we've moved them before. snake for telling me what I have to do. You know, I could kill them. Right? And then that solves all my problems. You know. It solves all my problems. Psycho 1X. We gotta come back here three times, like two more times. I don't know if the guards get re refreshed. I don't think they do. So the logical thing would be to dispose of the guards permanently. Like, I'm just doing the logical thing here, boys. Did Chad GPT tell you to kill all humans? You mean Master GPT? So how are you guys doing today? How are you? Freaking hot. Well, it, it, it went down. Like I said, a few days ago. Oh my God, it was like 40 here. I remember last time I got a lot of trouble here.
Yeah, we need to freeze the key. Hey, lucky day's been okay. Had to help collections today, which was kind of sad. How some people can pay can't pay the bills, yeah, especially especially today in this economy. We make jokes about it, but it's really awful. Like it's really awful, and it's just gonna get worse. Alright, the key is frozen. <laughs> that would have been funny. But not for me. Hopefully the guys are not back up. I mean, they shouldn't be. They're dead. But I mean, they're not replaced. No, they're all they're all still here. Uh oh, the bodies are disappearing. Going back to the ether. I just shoot the cameras though. Wouldn't that just make more sense? All right, we're going to stop the terrorists. Pal code number two confirmed. Awaiting pal code number three. Did you ever play that zombie you game? Okay. No. Pal code number two. Next comes pal number three. Warm the key. Just rub it between your hands. There we go. Saved another chaff. Now put it in the microwave. I'm sure it'll go fine. Oh, better call Mei Ling. Mei Ling, I did it! Microwave the key! Snake, what did you do? Snake, don't give up. Remember Macbeth, Act 5, Scene 3. I'll fight till from my bones my flesh be hacked. Give me my armor. Everyone is counting on you, Snake. You've got to do it. Now, we gotta go all the way to the foundry. But I think we gotta go next to the, uh... Next to the lava. So that means killing more dudes. How unfortunate.
You know, after that, there's not much left in the game, right? We shut down Metal Gear and then it's over, right? Was not paying attention. God damn it. Stupid trap. some problems is that a ratione helpful we gotta go back up it's not hard yeah Yes, sirree, Bob. Snake, it's about Naomi Hunter. <gasps> then you should talk to the Colonel. He's looking into it. Turn your monitor off. Okay, it's off. No one else can hear us. Go ahead. Sorry, but I didn't want the Colonel to hear. Okay, so what's up? I've got a good friend in the Pentagon. Yeah? He's the one who told me about it. It looks like the DIA recently developed a new type of assassination weapon. An assassination weapon? Snake, have you ever heard of something called Fox Dye? <gasps> no. Fox Dye? Liquid and the others were talking about it. Yeah. It's some kind of virus that targets specific people. I don't know all the details, but... What are you trying to say? It's too similar. What is? The cause of death. Didn't the arms tech president and the DARPA chief, I mean decoy octopus, die of something that looked like a heart attack? Yeah. Well, apparently Fox Die kills its victims by simulating a heart attack. No. You're telling me that Naomi was behind it? What? Snake, try to remember. Did Naomi give you some kind of injection? The nanomachines. <laughs> the vaccine. The best position to have done it. But I don't know what her motive was. It all started from here. I'm not sure, but he still hasn't questioned her. Okay, I'll ask him myself. I'll go on Twitter. What's new with the Naomi situation? I just placed Naomi under arrest. What? Arrest? She was sending coded messages toward the Alaskan base. I didn't want to believe it, but she must be working with the terrorists. Are you sure? I'm afraid so. She's being interrogated now. What kind of interrogation? Well, I'd like to avoid the rough stuff, but we don't even have any sodium pentothal here. Call me if you find out anything. So, it's true, isn't it? Naomi, I can't believe it. That means the Fox Dye vaccine must be around somewhere. Is that all you think about? But Snake, you might be infected too, you know. All I can do is leave it up to the Colonel. This was a one-way mission. There was no coming back. Eliminate all loose ends.
more rations. Oh my God. I thought this was on hard. Bees, boys. Snakes and bees. No. So recently, I've been replaying um, Final Fantasy VI. Gonna try to get that 100% once and for all. No longer plaguing my legacy. Gotta say though, the game is pretty good. Even replaying it now for that one sole purpose. The Grimoire have Steam achievements? I don't think it does. Don't think I really care either. How's the Velt? I finally got uh, Cat Scratch. And oh my god. Oh no, 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 no. Enemy sighted. Request. Oh, might as well get the key out. They'll never find me here. Oh wow, they they were here. They were very here. The key has changed, but will it change to red? We need to be next to the the lava. That's what I want to know. I don't I think we do. I'm not a hundred percent sure though. I 
and I'm right next to the lava here. There we go. All right, it's time to go back. Time to go back. That's right. Time to take care of the Metal Gear and the terrorists. Once and for all. That'll show them terrorists that you can't mess with the United States of America. Apparently there's two pipes in the catwalk near the room with the computers that can shoot out freezing or boiling steam. You don't need to go here? Are you serious? Did I do all of this for naught? For nothing? of the fun times. I'm not having fun. I got shot at. I had to kill people. What can I do for you, Snake? Hey there, Krebs. How you doing? Where's the third snake? Well, let me tell you. Killing ever bothered you? Always. I'm a kind soul. the entire world in Pillars of Eternity 2. Hold on a second. That was Mike. Don't don't put that on me. You were an accomplice. I was following orders. Parasite. That means we gotta kill everyone upstairs again. God damn it.
could not get caught. <laughs> And we all had a funny laugh over that. Ratione. Oh no. Snake. How work with the pipes on the third level? Uh. uh let's go don't got time to mess around I'm kind of busy right now. Snake, can you hear me? It's Naomi. Naomi? What the hell? What the hell? People and the others are busy right now. I'm on a different Kodak. Naomi, is what the Colonel says true? Yes, but not everything I said was a lie. Who are you? I don't know anything. My parents' face is my name. The name and ID I have now I just bought. But the reason why I study genetics, that was true. Because you want to know yourself, right? That's right. I want to know where I came from. My age, my race, anything. Naomi. I was found in Rhodesia sometime in the 80s. A dirty little orphan. Rhodesia? Orphan? Known as Zimbabwe? Yes. Orphan powers. Rhodesia was owned by England until 1965. <laughs> and there were lots of Indian... History people. lesson time. That's probably where I got my skin color from. But I'm not even sure about that. Naomi, you're too worried about the past. Isn't it enough to understand who you are now? Understand who I am now? Why should I? No one else tries to understand me. I was alone for so long. Until I met my big brother. And him. Your big brother? Yes. Frank Yeager. What? He was a young soldier when he picked me up near the Zambezi River. I was half dead from starvation, and he shared his rations with me. Yes. Frank Yeager. The man who you destroyed was my brother and my only family. <gasps> no. Gray Fox. Gray Fox. We survived that hell together, Frank and I. He protected me. He is everything to me. The only proof I have of my existence. Of my existence as an individual. And he brought you back to America? No. I was in Mozambique when he came. Who is he? You mean Big Boss? Yes. He brought us to this land of freedom. This America. But then he and my brother went back to continue the war. And that's when it happened. You killed my benefactor and sent my brother home a cripple. I vowed revenge and joined Foxhound. <gasps> I knew it was my best chance to meet you. And I prayed for the day that I would. So, were your prayers answered? Yes. I waited two long years. To kill me? Is that all you cared about? Yes, that's right. Two years. You were all I thought about for two long years. <laughs> like some kind of twisted obsession. Do you still hate me? Not exactly. I was partly wrong about you. What about Liquid and the others? I'll have my revenge on them too. Naomi, you didn't kill that doctor too, did you? The one that used Gray Fox for his genome experiments. Dr. Clark? No. That was my brother. What? Afterward, I covered it up and helped him hide out. So that ninja... I mean, Gray Fox. He's come here to kill me. I don't think so. I think he just came here to fight you. I wasn't sure before, but now I think I understand. A final battle with you. That's all he lives for. I'm sure of it. Fox. Naomi. Tell me something. 
about fox dye. Fox dye is a type of retrovirus that targets and kills only specific people. First, it infects the macrophages in the victim's body. Fox dye contains smart enzymes created through protein engineering. They're programmed to respond to specific genetic patterns in the cells. Those enzymes recognize the target's DNA. Right. They respond by becoming active and using the macrophages. They begin creating TNF epsilon. Huh. It's a type of cytokine, a peptide which causes cells to die. The TNF epsilon is carried along the bloodstream to the heart, where they attach to the TNF receptors in the heart cells. And then they cause a heart attack. The heart cells suffer a shock and undergo an extreme apoptosis. Then the victim dies. Apoptosis. You mean the heart cells commit suicide? Naomi. What? You must have programmed that thing to kill me too, right? Do I still have time? Naomi, I don't blame you for wanting me dead, but I can't go yet. I still have a job to do. Listen, Snake. I'm not the one who made the decision to use Fox Die. Huh? You what? No. You were injected with Fox Die as a part of this operation. I just wanted to let you know that... No. Oh, that's not the whole truth. Huh? The real thing that I wanted to tell you was... Snake. Hey! What are you doing? What the hell is going on? Naomi? Snake, I can't allow Naomi to make any more unauthorized transmissions. What? Naomi's been removed from this operation. What happened to Naomi? What did she mean when she said that Fox Die was a part of this operation? Colonel, let me talk to her. I won't. She's under arrest. Colonel, you double-crossed me. Snake, there's no time <laughs> for that. Right now, your job is to stop Metal Gear. Okay, Snake? Hey there, Shell. How was the stream? All right, this is it. Time to stop Metal Gear once and for all. Time for the biggest twist of them all. Thank you, Snake. Now the detonation code is completed. Nothing can stop Metal Gear now. Master, what's going on? You found the key and even activated the warhead for us too. I really must express my gratitude. Sorry to have involved you in that silly shape memory alloy business. What are you talking about? We weren't able to learn the DARPA chief's code. Even with Mantis' psychic powers, Wait a minute. he couldn't read his mind. Then Ocelot accidentally killed him during the interrogation. In other words, we weren't able to launch the nuclear device and we were all getting a little worried. Without the threat of a nuclear strike, 
our demands would never be met. What do you mean? Without the detonation codes, we had to find some other way. That's when I decided you might prove useful, Snake. What? Well, for starters, I had Decoy Octopus disguise himself as the DARPA chief. We thought we'd get the info from you, but there was Fox Die. You mean you had this plan from the beginning? Just to get me to input the detonation code? <laughs> you didn't think you made it this far by yourself, did you? Who the hell are you? In any case, the launch preparations are complete. Once the world glimpses the power of this weapon, the White House will have no choice but to surrender the Fox Die vaccine to me. Their ace in the hole is useless now. Ace in the hole? The Pentagon's plan to use you was already successful in the torture room. <laughs> Snake, you're the only one who doesn't know. Poor fool. Who are you anyway? I'll tell you everything you want to know. If you come to where I am, that is. Where are you? Very close by. <gasps> Snake, that's not Master Miller. What? Campbell, you're too late. Master Miller's body was just discovered at his home. He's been dead for at least three days. What? I didn't know because my codec link with Master was cut off. But Mei-Ling said his transmission signal was coming from inside the base. So who is it? Snake, you've been talking to... Me, dear brother. Oh my god! How the... You've served your purpose? You may die now. It was the glasses. I could never tell. The Clark Kent of Metal Gear. Snake, gas, do something. Snake, call Emmerich. He should be able to break through security. Oh, a god. Snake, that's bulletproof glass. You can't break it with an ordinary weapon. Can't you open the security lock here? I'll try. Just hold on for a minute. Master. No. Snake. Master's dead. Now we'll never believe in ourselves. Do it for me, Snake. It's game over for him forever. We're not gonna make it. Oh, my God. Come on, hurry up already. Hang on. into security snake i'm opening the door about goddamn time <gasps> naked man liquid Snake, did you like my sunglasses? 
Oh, you point a weapon at your own brother? Why did you disguise yourself as master? So I could manipulate you more easily. You performed quite well. <laughs> he knows of our love of master. Although the boys at the Pentagon are probably saying the same thing. What the hell are you talking about? Following orders blindly with no questions asked, you've lost your warrior's pride and become nothing more than a pawn, Snake. What? Stopping the nuclear launch, rescuing the hostages. It was all just a diversion. A diversion? The Pentagon only needed you to come into contact with us. That's what killed the arms tech president and decoy octopus. You don't mean... That's right. You were sent here to kill us, so they could retrieve Metal Gear undamaged along with bodies of the genome soldiers. From the beginning, the Pentagon was just using you as a vector to spread Fox Dye. Patient Zero. It can't be. Are you telling me Naomi was working with the Pentagon? They thought she was, but it seems that Dr. Naomi Hunter couldn't be controlled so easily. What? We've got a spy working in the Pentagon. He reported that Dr. Hunter altered Fox Dye's program just before the operation, but no one knows how or why. I wonder. Maybe they arrested her so they could find out the answer to that. No doubt. But I had no idea she was motivated by such petty revenge. We still don't know what changes she made to Fox Dye's program. Oh well, doesn't matter. I've already added the Fox Dye vaccine to my list of White House demands. There's a vaccine? There must be. But that woman is the only one who really knows. Anyway, it might prove to be unnecessary. <laughs> yeah, why is that? <laughs> Why? You were successful in coming into contact with all of us, so we must have all been exposed to the virus. It's true that the arms tech president and decoy octopus were killed by Fox Dye. <laughs> but Ocelot, myself, and you, the carrier, were apparently unaffected. A bug in the virus's programming? Hmm, could be. In any case, if it doesn't kill you, then I'm not worried either. After all, our genetic code is identical. So it's true. You and I are... That's right, Snake. Gymnasts. Oh, twins. We're not ordinary twins. We're twins linked by cursed genes. Les enfants terribles. You're fine. You got all of the old man's dominant genes. I got all the flawed, recessive genes. Everything was done so that you would be the greatest of his children. The only reason I exist is so they could create you. So you're saying I'm the dominant one? That's right. I'm just the leftovers of what they use to make you. Can you understand what it's like to know that you're gone <laughs> since the day you were born? No, I wouldn't know that. But I'm the one father chose. So that's why you're so obsessed with Big Boss. Some warped kind of love. Ha! Love? It's hate. His choosing me, knowingly, to be the inferior one? For this, I want revenge. You don't even understand this. You, who could kill your own real father. You stole my chance for revenge. Now I'll finish the work that father began. I will surpass him. I will destroy him. You're just like Naomi. Well, I'm not like you. Unlike you, I'm proud of the destiny that is encoded into my very genes. <laughs> you missed your last chance. You'll regret that forever. 
Oh no! Got to throw 14 grenades at the legs. Snake, you know this. on you now you've got to stop that thing but how you'll have to ask dr emmerich the guy who made it <laughs> don't ask me ask the guy who made it snake rex's armor is impregnable you can't do any damage with the weapons you've got rex uses the latest advances in compound armor the only way you can pierce it is with a high performance heat round so what do i do Rex's pilot seat operates exactly like a VR system. It's got multiple sensors connected to a high-tech interface used for the controls. It's completely self-enclosed and shut off from the outside environment. He's not using his naked eyes. That's right. So if you could somehow destroy the sensors... Do you see that round plate on Rex's left arm? Yeah, that thing that looks like a shield. That's a ray dome. If you can destroy that thing, it won't be able to use its electronic equipment. So he'll be blinded. Yeah. Try to hit that ray dome with a stinger missile. So will that stop it? No. Rex was designed so it can be controlled manually, too. Oh, great. <laughs> the part that looks like a beak is where the pilot seat is. In an emergency, it will open up. Rex's armor is perfect. You can't destroy it. You told me that already. But the interior is a different story. I get it. First, I destroy the ray dome. That will force him to open up the pilot seat. Right. If you can shoot a missile into the cockpit, <laughs> destroy the computer. And most, most of anything else. Designed it with a weak point. It's not a weak point. More like a weakness. People and weapons just aren't very appealing without a weakness of some kind. Don't you think? Uh, I guess so. I owe you one, Otacon. I made my killing machine wrong as a joke.
Oh, there. I missed. hitting the shoulder that's what I gotta do though He'll never find me here. Stupid lock on. Do, do I look locked on on that? Did that 
do it. Fox. Hurry, get away! Gray Fox. A name from long ago. It sounds better than Deep Throat. So it is you. <laughs> you look terrible, <laughs> Snake. You haven't aged well. I'll send you back to hell. He's Mega Man. Fox, why? What do you want from me? I'm a prisoner of death. Only you can free me. Fox, stay out of this. What about Naomi? She's hell bent on taking revenge for you. Naomi. You're the only one who can stop her. No, I can't. Why? Because I'm the one who killed her parents. What? I was young then, and couldn't bring myself to kill her, too. Oh, I felt so bad that I decided to take her with me. I raised her like she was my own blood, to soothe my guilty conscience. Even now, she thinks of me as her brother. Fox. Outwardly, we may have seemed like contented brother and sister, but every time I looked into her eyes, I trembled with fear. Tell her for me. Tell her that I was the one who did it. No, Mega Man. I could never do that. Oh my god. He's doing the Matrix. Lazered. In the Middle East, we don't hunt foxes, we hunt jackals. Instead of foxhounds, we use royal harriers. Fox! What does that have to do with anything? Who is that exoskeleton of yours? Snake, are you just going to sit by and watch him die?
He destroyed the Rado. Impressive. You are indeed worthy of the code name Fox. But now you're finished. Now fire the stinger, Fox. Can you really shoot? You'll kill him too. <gasps> Of you. It's no good. I, can I can't do it. Die. It's no good. I can't do it. That it's no good. I can't do it. I was they can't do it. Neither truly alive nor truly dead. An no, undying I can't shadow do it. in a world of light. But soon, soon it will finally end. I can't shoot. You can't do it. of the government or anyone else fighting was the only thing the only thing I was good at but at least uh, I always fought for what I believed in snake Oh, don't have to rub it. Man. When death is entreated, the battle is decided. You see, you can't protect anyone, not even yourself. Tap into your Japanese spirit. Metal Gear Rising Revengeance begins now. Oh, never mind. I'm just going to use rockets. They're going to go punch liquid in the face.
Oh, well, he's letting me heal. That's very nice of him. Surely it's all over now. Metal Gear's destroyed. Liquid with it. GG. Oh, he's still alive. What how? He ate 16 rockets in the eye. Sleeping late as usual. Ace. Uh, you know, it's a long day. You're still alive. I won't die as long as you still live. Too bad. It looks like your revolution was a failure. Just because you've destroyed Metal Gear doesn't mean I'm done fighting. Fighting? What are you really after? The restoration of the era when warriors such as us lived as we should. That was Big Boss's fantasy. It was his dying wish. When he was young, during the Cold War, the world needed men like us. We were valued then. We were desired. But things are different now. With all the liars and hypocrites running the world, war isn't what it used to be. We're losing our place in a world that no longer needs us. A world that now spurns our very existence. You should know that as well as I do. After I launch this weapon and get our billion dollars, we'll be able to bring chaos and honor back to this world gone soft. Chaos and honor? Conflict. New hatreds will arise, and our chaos. own biosphere shall steadily expand. But as long as there are people, there will always be war. But the problem is balance. Father knew what type of a balance was best. Is that the only reason? Isn't that reason enough for warriors such as us? I don't want that kind of world. Ha! You lie. You liar. So why are you here then? Why do you continue to follow your orders while your superiors betray you? It's not wrong. Why did you come here? Well, I'll tell you then. You enjoy all the killing. That's why. <gasps> what? Are you denying it? Haven't you already killed most of my comrades? Oh, well, he's not wrong. <laughs> I, I watched your face as you delivered the coup de grace. Oh, it reflected such vitality. You're wrong. There is a killer inside you. You don't no. deny it. That's not me. You were created to be that way. Created. Les enfants terribles. The terrible children. That's what the project was called. It started in the 1970s. Their plan was to artificially create the most powerful soldier possible. The person that they chose as the model was a man known then as the greatest living soldier in the world. Big, Big boss. boss. But father was wounded in combat and already in a coma when they brought him in. So they created us from his cells. 
with a combination of 20th century analog cloning and the super baby method. Super baby. Super baby method. <laughs> they fertilized an egg with one of father's cells and then let it divide into eight clone babies. Then they transferred the clones to someone's uterus and later intentionally aborted six of the fetuses to encourage strong fetal growth. You and I were originally octuplets. Octuplets? Yes. The other six of our brothers were sacrificed to make us. We were accomplices in murder before the day we were even born. Octo. It was you and I. Truly, Snake. We were the Octopath Travelers 3. But they weren't finished yet. They used me as a guinea pig to create a phenotype in which all of the dominant genes were expressed to create you. I got all the recessive genes. You took everything from me before I was even born. But Sucks to be you. You and I aren't his only children. What? The genome soldiers. They too are his progeny. Carrying on his genetic... So all along we've been fighting Big Boss. Like us, everywhere. They carry it digitally. With the completion of the Human Genome Project in the last century, the mysteries of humanity were laid bare. Thanks to father's DNA, they were able to identify more than 60 soldier genes responsible for everything from strategic thinking to the proverbial killer instinct. Those soldier genes were transplanted using gene therapy into the members of the next generation special forces. That's how they became the genome soldiers. That's right. The genome soldiers that you've been killing right and left are our brothers with the same genes as ours. The genome soldiers? They are misshapen creatures, artificially produced from father's genetic pattern. They are our blood brothers, and they were born of many an ultimate sacrifice. Sacrifices? Human experiments. Huh? 1991, the Gulf War. The Gulf War? The military secretly injected soldiers with the soldier genes. The Gulf War syndrome that hundreds of thousands of returning soldiers complained about was a side effect of it. Ha! Everyone knows that the Gulf War Syndrome was caused by exposure to pesticides and radiation from depleted uranium rounds. <laughs> that was just a cover story issued by the Pentagon. What? The government lied? Say it was post-traumatic stress disorder, then chemical, biological weapons, the poison gas detection units, and <laughs> the game's struggling here. All just to cover up the secret gen experiments. So th the so-called Gulf War oh, that have been babies. reported by Gulf War veterans are. Yes, they too are our brothers and sisters. They don't want what the so big government doesn't want you to know. Experiments were a success. Success? Don't be a fool. They're a complete failure. We're on the verge of extinction. What? Have you ever heard of the asymmetry theory? Jeez, you're really laying it down here there, uh, Liquid. Those species which have gone extinct all show signs of symmetry. The genome soldiers suffer from the same problem, signs of symmetry. So do I, as do you. That's right. We are all on the verge of death at the genetic level. Genetic death. We don't know when or what type of disease will occur. That's why we need the old man's genetic information. You want Big Boss's DNA so you can save your family? It's very touching. <laughs> 
in nature. Family members don't mate with each other. <laughs> but I'll make an exception this time, Snake. Do you know why? Because it increases the chances that shared genes will be transmitted to future generations. Altruism among blood relatives is a response to natural selection. That we will help our blood relatives is inscribed in our very genes. You're telling me that your genes are ordering you to save the genome soldiers? You can't fight your genes. It's fate. Yeah, I tried to fight my Levi's. It didn't go well. Purpose of passing on their parents' genes. That's why I'll follow what my genes tell me. And then I'm going to go beyond in order to break the curse of my heritage. And to do that, first, I will kill you. Me? What did I do? Look behind you. Meryl? Meryl? What are you doing here? Is she alive? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. She was alive a few hours ago. Poor girl kept calling your name. Meryl. Stupid woman, falling in love with a man who doesn't even have a name. I have a name. No, we have no past, no future. If we did, our fate is nothing but what is determined in the genes we inherited from our father. Let Meryl go. As soon as we finished our business, we're almost out of time. You're talking about Fox Die. No. It seems now that the Pentagon knows that Metal Gear is destroyed. They've arrived at a decision. They won't even need a BDA. If you want the details, why don't you ask your precious Colonel Campbell? Colonel. Snake, I couldn't do anything. Colonel, can you hear me? Yes, I'm listening. What is the Pentagon trying to do? Colonel, answer me. The Secretary of Defense has taken over active control of this operation. He's on his way there by AWACS. What for? To bomb the place. What? Not only that, B-2 bombers just lifted off from Galena Air B-2? They're carrying B-6113 surface-piercing tactical nuclear bombs. What? Metal Gear is destroyed. Tell the Secretary of Defense. The Secretary of Defense heard that Naomi double-crossed us, and he's worried about Fox Die. Now that there's no more danger of a nuclear strike from Metal Gear, he's going to do whatever's necessary to cover up the truth of what really happened here. He's going to drop a nuclear bomb to vaporize all the evidence, along with anyone who knows anything. Don't worry, Snake. I'll stop the nuclear strike. How? I may be only a figurehead here, but I'm still officially in command of this mission. If I issue an order to delay the strike, it'll confuse the chain of command and at least buy you some time. It'll give you a chance to escape. But Colonel, if you do that... It's okay, Snake. The truth is, Foxhound was already the subject of an undercover investigation. Merrill was transferred to this base just before the terrorist attack as a way of manipulating me. Those bastards. I'm sorry. They forced <gasps> me to cooperate in exchange for her life. No. You'd better get out of there, Snake. Are you sure? It'll be bad for you. Don't worry. It's the least I can do for you after all the lies. Colonel. I'm ordering them to cancel the bombing run. After that, there's no turning back. Huh? What are you doing? Snake! Mei Ling, what happened to the Colonel? I don't believe it. What happened? Snake, the Colonel! Roy Campbell has been relieved of duty. This is the Secretary of Defense, Jim Hausman. Jim! Back on. He's been placed under arrest for leaking top secret information and for the crime of high treason. Ridiculous. Yes, he is a ridiculous man. He truly believed that he was in command of this operation. You bastard. There won't be a speck of evidence left. 
I'm sure the president would want the president. The president ordered this. The president is a busy man. I have complete authority here. How do you plan on explaining a nuclear attack on Alaska to the media? Don't worry. We've prepared a convincing cover story. We'll simply say that the terrorists exploded a nuclear device. Damn it. You'll be murdering everyone here. The scientists, the genome army, everyone. Donald, the DARPA chief is already dead. So you didn't mean to kill the DARPA chief after all. He was my friend. And you could care less about what happens to everybody else, huh? Well, if you give me the optic disc, I might consider <gasps> them. What are you talking about? Metal Gear's test data. Donald was supposed to bring it back. I don't have it. I see. Oh, well. That's okay. You two are an embarrassment from the 1970s. Our country's dirty little secret. You can't be allowed to live. You're just the lingering ghosts of a system that is no more. Well, do try to get along in the time you have left before the bomb. <laughs> oh, there's no way out for us. Let's finish this before the airstrike. You stole everything from me. I shall nullify you and your genes, and I will take them all back. How, how does that even work? She'll make a beautiful sacrifice for our final battle. Do you see this? This will be the time limit for our final battle. When death comes for this girl, this nuclear module shall vanish from this world as well. If you win, you might still be able to save her. You could enjoy one brief moment of love before the end. And if you cross this line, you'll fall. At this height, it'll kill even you. Snake. Time for the real battle. Battle of the bros. Is everything all right, Snake? What's wrong, Snake? <laughs> I don't have I don't have any freaking rations. Like I'm playing Smash Brothers. Edge guarding.
Ouch. You're out of time. I mean, I'm trying. How do I get up? What's wrong, Snake? I pressed the wrong button. There we go. It's flying knee. Let's go. It's like a double dragon. in my kung fu movies oh it's like in Tekken No way he's going to survive that. Meryl.
Merle is dead. Oh, no, she's still alive. Snake? Is that you? Snake, you're alive. Thank God. Meryl. Meryl, are you okay? Are you okay? Is that all you can say? Meryl, you must have been terrible. But it wasn't that bad. I didn't give in to the torture. Torture? And things even worse than that. I was fighting too. Just like you. You're a strong woman. Fighting them made me feel closer to you. I felt like you were there with me. It gave me the strength to go on. But I was scared. I'm sorry. Don't say that. But it made me realize something. During all the pain and shame, there was one thing I was sure of. A single hope that I held on to. And that hope kept me alive. Snake, I wanted to see you again. About that bomb next to you guys. Smooch in time? Big smooch? Ah, oh, the boss is calling. Snake, it's me. It looks like you stopped Rex. Otacon, good news. Meryl's okay. All right. You saved her, man. Good job. I got some bad news, too. We're about to be bombed. Oh, boy. I guess we're considered expendable. Is there a way out of here? A way out? Uh, yeah. You can take the loading tunnel to the surface. There's a parking garage right next to you. The tunnel leads from there to the surface. The door in front? No, it's a small entrance to the west of that door. How about the security? I just unlocked it. Who do you think you're talking to? I'll take care of security along your escape route, too. What are you going to do? Me? I... I'll stay here. Are you crazy? I need a little more time to take care of your escape route. But a god. Unlocking the security doors is difficult work. Only I can do it. Otacon. Don't worry. I'm staying here. It's my own decision. Otacon, this is a hardened shelter, but they're going to use a surface-piercing nuclear bomb. It won't hold. I'm through regretting the past. Life isn't all about loss, you know? Snake, I'm a complete person now. I've found a reason to live. <laughs> That's why I'm going to die here. Don't die on me. Same to you. Take care of Meryl, okay? I will. Okay, I gotta go. I promise I'll do something about your escape route. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, that sounds nice. I believe in you. <laughs> Thanks, Snake. Go out with me. Ah, uh, Snake. Let's get the hell out of here. What about him? Where is Otacon? He's fighting right now with his old self to be the man he wants to be. He's fighting for us too? Yeah, and I don't want it to be in vain. Me too. Ugh. 
my knees. Snake. Smoochin' time? Nope. Not yet. Bomb time. It started. I must be heavy. Looks like we're not gonna have a love scene after all. Looks that way. Too bad. Let's get out of here. Snake, it's freezing outside. You need some clothes. She says. My sneaking suit. Hurry up. Hurry. <laughs> so what is that vest? You going on a camping trip? Mm, looking good, Snake. <laughs> We're going fishing. I gotta call me Ling. The safe. I don't want to do that again. Snake, they've placed the colonel under arrest. I, I don't know what I should do. This will probably be your last save. <gasps> I'm gonna miss those proverbs of yours. Oh, Snake. Hey, Ling. I have a favor to ask you. Make a hard copy of all the codec conversation data up to this point. I want some insurance. Okay, Snake. Leave it to me. I wonder if we can talk to the others. That's it. Last conversation. You're sloppy. Oh no, no key. Right. I thought that was a ration. Not awkward at all, by the way.
I'm gonna bleed out here. I got no health now. My man is more bullet than man. Meryl's out of commission. Oh my God. How's that even possible? <laughs> Liquid. Snake. Snake.
If he's dead, that means... Don't say it, Snake. He's not me. What happened to the air raid? No stealth bombers in sight. Snake, can you hear me? Colonel. Are you okay? Colonel, what happened? The Secretary of Defense has been arrested. Early retirement. What? Arrested? I was able to get into contact with the President. Metal Gear, the training exercise, all of it. It was all the Secretary of Defense acting alone. Acting alone? What happened to the air raid and the nuclear strike? The orders were rescinded. The F-117s and the B-2 bombers have returned to the base. Once again, I have complete authority over this operation. The irony of saying no stealth bombers in sight. Stupid enough to use nukes to cover I up thought stealth was only for radar, not for sight. About that. In any case, the danger's over. Thanks, Snake. Colonel, you can rest easy. Merrill's fine. Really? Thanks. Thank you, Snake. Snake, I'm sorry I kept a lot of things from you. It's okay, Colonel. Snake, I'm not a Colonel. Oh, that's right. I've got a present for you. There's a snowmobile close to you. Mei Ling saw it on the satellite photos. This time of year, the glaciers are pretty calm. You should be able to ride right out of there. I'll bet the boys at the DIA and the NSA never expected you to come home alive. Me neither. I'd better not show my face around there. No danger of that. You two officially died after your jeep sank into the ocean. Mm, that's not too far from the truth. There's also a helicopter waiting for you at the Fox Islands. Dr. Hal Emmerich should be somewhere on the base. I want someone to bring him in. I understand. Leave it to me. Okay. Roy. Are you going to be okay? Don't worry. I've got an insurance policy. A hard copy of all of Mei Ling's data. As long as I've got that, you, me, and Mei Ling will be fine. The battery on these nanomachines will run out soon. They won't be able to follow us. I guess we won't meet again. Don't worry. I'll pay you a visit sometime. Really? I'll look forward to that. Roy, just tell me one thing. What? About Fox Dye. Meryl will be fine. She wasn't included in its programming. What about me? It killed Liquid. Naomi said she wants to talk to you face to face about that. How is she? Don't worry. Mei Ling's with her right now. I'm switching over to Naomi. Snake, it's me. Naomi? I heard about my brother. Uh, Fox, no, Frank wanted to tell you something. He told me to tell you to forget about him and to go on with your own life. Frankie said that? Yeah. He also said he'll always love you. Naomi, your brother just saved you, me, and the whole world. He fought on sheer willpower until the very end. Maybe. Maybe now he's finally found some peace. My brother was already dying. Ever since he fought with you in Zanzibar land, he's been like a ghost. A ghost looking for a place to die. <laughs> Naomi, Liquid died from Fox Eye too. What about me? When am I going to go? It's up to you. What do you mean? Everybody dies when their time's up. Yeah, so when's mine up? It's up to you how you use the time left to you. Live, Snake. That's all I can say to you. Well, that wasn't even helpful at all. Born with their fate written into their own genetic code, inscribed into their genes. But that's not all there is to life. I finally realized that. I told you before, the reason that I was interested in genes and DNA.
because I wanted to know who I was, where I came from. I thought that if I analyzed my DNA, I could find out who I was, who my parents were. And I thought that if I knew that, then I'd know what path I should take in life. But I was wrong. I didn't find anything. I didn't learn anything. Just like with the genome soldiers, you can input all the genetic information, but that doesn't make them into the strongest soldiers. The most we can say about DNA is that it's genetic information houses a person's strengths or destiny. You mustn't allow yourself to be chained to fate, to be ruled by your genes. Humans can choose the type of life they want to live. Snake, whether you've been programmed or not isn't important. The important thing is that you choose life. And then live. Don't you think, Snake? Don't worry. Naomi, you put a virus in him! Until today, I've always looked for a reason to live. But from now on, I'm going to just live. <laughs> it's like stabbing someone and saying, you know what? Live. Genes exist to pass. Don't worry about your genes. Just live, man. Our children. Living is a link to what will come. All life is tethered to the future. Loving each other, teaching each new generation, then the world can change. I finally realized it. The true meaning of life. Thank you, Snake. Look. I found this. Let's keep it as a reminder. Of what? A reminder of a successful mission? Or a reminder of the first time we met? A reminder of how to live. Huh? Until today, I've lived only for myself. My survival instinct that tells me not to die. That's all the motive I've had in my life. That's not just you. That's how everyone is. I only felt truly alive when I was staring death in the face. I don't know. Maybe it's written into my genes. Snake, what we'll buy you new genes. It's okay. What do your genes say about your future now? Maybe it's time I live for someone else. Someone else? Otacon. Yeah. Someone like you. Maybe that's the real way to live. We're going to Old Navy. Snake. David. My name is David. <laughs> okay. So where to, Dave? I said David. Not Dave. David. I think it's time we look <gasps> Aurora Borealis. A new path? A new purpose. Will we find it? We'll find it. I know we'll find it. Located entirely in this game. Hey, what are those? Caribou. To the illusions, the caribou is a symbol of life. It'll be spring here soon. For us too. Yeah. Spring brings new life to everything. It's a time for hope. I've lived here a long time, but Alaska has never looked more beautiful. The sky. The sea. The caribou. And most of all. You. You, the game player. Oh. Oh my god. That's nice, isn't it? Being alive. Come on. 
Let's enjoy life. And a special thanks to you. <laughs> I mean, he was his idol after all. This is going off on Miller facts. Twenty thousand nuclear warheads. I mean, we should be fine. It's not like nuclear war is looming at all. Now, the next game, we're having Snake and Otacon as a couple. The game is very progressive. We finished another game! We did it, boys! Snake falls for the first girl every game. He's a Chie enjoyer. You take that back, you bastard. He does not have first girl syndrome. It was nice uh, replaying Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes. Always a good time. I also learned that I hate, hate stealth beyond any doubt. If we had played this on normal, it would have been so much better. But I think once I started killing people, it got better too. Took off the veneer. Yeah, what's it stop being a stealth game? Went a lot better. I mean, the second part went, went a lot better than the first part. You know, once I started killing, I really felt alive is what I'm trying to say. Time for some B-roll. Burr? The best is yet to come. I mean, mind magic is coming up soon. Don't worry. So after Metal Gear Twin Snakes, I think we're doing two, but I'm not sure. It could be the other games. We'll see with... Uh, I'll see what the patron, the unknown patron, what they have to say. The secret patron.
Snake Eater gets a remake next year, yeah? Metal Gear Delta or something like that? Sigma? Sigma Balls? Otacon is a, regi a registered trademark of Otacorp. Special thanks to Shigeru Miyamoto, Nintendo. mustn't allow yourself to be chained to fate, to be ruled by your genes. Humans can choose the type of life they want to live. Snake, whether you've been programmed or not isn't important. The important thing is that you choose life and then live. Yes, sir. <gasps> the entire unit was wiped out. Yes. Yes, sir. Thanks to the vaccine. Yes, those two are still alive. The vector? Yes, sir. Fox die should become activated soon. Right on schedule. Yes, sir. I recovered all of Rex's dummy warhead data. No, there are no other records. They've all been deleted from the base's computer. No, sir. My cover is intact. Nobody knows who I really am. Yes, the DARPA chief knew my identity, but he's been disposed of. Yes. Yes. Liquid is dead. The inferior one was the winner after all. Inferior one? Right. Until the very end, Liquid thought he was the inferior one. Of course, the other one thinks so, too. Yes, sir. I agree completely. It takes a well-balanced individual such as yourself to rule the world. Yes. Yes, sir. No, sir. No one knows that you were the third one. Solidus. Solidus? What should I do about the woman? Yes, sir. I understand. The surveillance will continue. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Goodbye, Mr. President. Mr. President! Yeah, we did it. So, uh, 10 hours, 42 saves, 40 continues, 50 alerts. 134 killed and uh, about 70 rations. Um, that's, that's not the best stats, but you know what? That's okay. That's okay. See, <laughs> I'll eat an all damn beans. All right, so we're gonna take a small break and then we'll be back with some Might and Magic 6 after the break, so stay tuned. <laughs> 